everything we own, the whole array of distribution of resources in any political community is a function of two sets of variables. It's a function, first, of the individual choices, talents, and luck of the individual people in the community. And second, it's a function of the political settlement of that community. And by that phrase, I mean all the laws that affect the distribution of wealth. Not just the tax laws, but the labor law, the foreign policy, the tariffs, the interest rate regulations. Practically everything that government does has an effect. And these two sets of variables, if you hold one set of variables constant, then distribution varies only with the other set of variables. So you might say for any given political settlement, the resources that each person in the community has will depend upon that person's choices, what to work at, how hard to work, that person's talent, and that person's luck, good or bad. But vary the political settlement and the same set of choices, talents, and luck will produce a very different set of resources. But if we begin with a principle of legitimacy, political legitimacy, which declares that the government of a political territory must show in everything it does equal concern for the fate of every individual over whom it claims dominion, then the political settlement must be one that can be defended in that light. And I exclude from this correct settlement two extremes that have been called by various authors egalitarian. The first I exclude is what we might call flat equality. That is, everybody has the same wealth, no matter what choices they have made. I exclude that because I think that government must not only show equal concern for everyone in the community, but must show respect for people's personal responsibility. This connects with another view I have, which is a, a principle of ethics that supposes that people each do have a personal responsibility for identifying value in their own life. And the government that redistributed all wealth periodically would not be a government that allowed people to take responsibility for their own choices. It would, in effect, make individual choice irrelevant to distribution or largely irrelevant to the people's fates. So I reject flat equality. I also reject what is sometimes described as equality of opportunity. That is a system under which people are free to compete, but must bear the burden of bad luck or lack of talent themselves. You end up with a very inegalitarian distribution. I propose something that you might say, as you, you very well said, it's an attempt to provide market, basic market economy, which I think is indispensable to showing respect for people, with something that shows concern for people, namely an insurance scheme, which which says to the community, you must make choices of value for yourself. You must decide what to work at, what to invest in education, what to take as your personal ambition. 
And so far as bad luck is concerned, we will try to protect you by offering you an insurance policy, and if you suffer bad luck or you lack talent, if that's the form your bad luck takes, you'll be compensated. But you'll be compensated only at the level that an actual viable insurance policy would supply. Now, as you say, that doesn't bring about flat equality. People who have bad luck are worse off in consequence of their bad luck. But they're not as badly off as they would be without this insurance. We find, among other difficulties, that there's no insurance company that's willing to write insurance uh, in this way, because a real insurance company will charge people who are already crippled a higher premium than it will charge people who are not. So, we sub because we are guided, trying to accommodate both equal concern and equal respect for individual responsibility, we substitute in the real, real world a tax system. And the tax system collects insurance premiums from everybody. We call them taxes, but we think of them as insurance premiums. When they suffer bad luck, they get paid what the insurance model would suggest they get paid, and it's paid out of government resources.